Sono Gianni Gimbanda, Sia Gianni Gianni Shalakaya, Takshuru Mili Tangena Tasmaish, Igor Venema. And you're expecting me to speak about this song. By speaking about this song, beginning with the Jephthah, which contains all the essential topics of the Gita. These songs of the Vaishnava Acharyas, uh, they are very pertinent to our spiritual advancement because they contain succinctly all the messages of the Shastra. Therefore, they are no different from Shastra. This song is addressed to the man, and much of the discussion about Bhagavad Gita is about controlling the man. As our Krishna states in Bhagavad Gita, and one should elevate himself by the mind and not degrade himself. For the mind can be the best friend of the condition soul who is well said in the water. Arjuna had a problem. Arjuna had a problem. But Krishna showed him that the real problem was not what he thought it to be, the real problem was in his mind. All the problems are problems of attitude. That when we see object, uh, when we see obstacles to our sense gratification, we consider it a problem. But the only real problem is that we're not surrendered to Krishna. Therefore, Krishna ultimately recommends it in Bhagavad Gita. Sarvakhanan parittajama mekam shanam raja hamtam sarvakha peku there are all varieties of so-called religion. So-called religion means religion which is meant for sense gratification. People think I should go to God and pray him, pray to him to remove the obstacles on the path of my sense gratification. And award me better opportunities for sense gratification. And if God doesn't fulfill their desires, then they give up their religion. I don't believe in God. So Krishna says, don't give up your belief in God but give up your cheating approach to religion. God doesn't fulfill your desires for sense gratification. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with God. It means there's something wrong with you. So Krishna says, give up all this nonsense. Surrender to me only. I will deliver you from all problems. Do not fear. So I don't know, in the beginning he was thinking I have a right problem. I have to find that. I want to find So he was trying to find some way that uh, Krishna would agree to his not fighting. Krishna said, no, you have to fight. You can't avoid this problem. But it doesn't, it's not seen as a problem when you do it as devotional service to Krishna. Uh, Krishna told Arjuna, dedicating your mind, the mind, and intelligence to me, think of me and fight. So this material world is full of problems. Uh, as long as we're in this material world, there will be so many problems. When we go back to Godhead, no more problems. Simply dancing with us. But as long as we're in this material world, we have to face the problems. But actually, the real problem in the material world is not that we're not surrendered to Krishna. The Krishna conscious simply means a little change of attitude. As Srila Prabhupada <coughs> writes in the preface to the Nectar of Instruction, in uh, which is one of the most in, important, succinct instructions for people anxious to be Krishna conscious. Srila Prabhupada writes that advancement in devotional service depends upon the attitude of the performer. What is our attitude? Well, Krishna says he has to elevate himself by the mind and not degrade himself. It's all a matter of attitude. Whether we want to surrender to Krishna or not, whether we want to be Krishna conscious or not. Krishna consciousness means to be conscious of Krishna. To be conscious of what Krishna wants us to do. <coughs> Krishna wants us to surrender to him. We don't want to surrender to Krishna. This is our problem. This is the problem. People come to me and say, I have this problem, I have that problem. And the real problem is that we don't want to surrender to Krishna. So here, <coughs> Govinda Das Kaviraj, the writer of this song, is telling that, my dear mind, just worship Krishna. At whose lotus feet one can be fearless. 
basic nature of material existence is that we are full of fear. When we come in this world, material world, then our consciousness becomes opposite consciousness. Krishna conscious means to love Krishna. And material consciousness is just the opposite. In the spiritual world, there is no fear, no anxiety. But the very nature of this material world is it's for fear. Because we are envious of Krishna, we are bereft of the protection of Krishna. And therefore we have to suffer repeated birth and death. And therefore material existence is always full of fear. But when we take shelter of Krishna, then there's no more fear. We're not afraid of death. We're not afraid of losing anything, because we don't think anything belongs to me. Because we've offered our life to Krishna, then we think that whatever Krishna does with me, that is up to him. Before they are in the Jyoti chapter of Bhagavad Gita, in any danger or even in death, whatever is your wish, I am yours. So this is the attitude of the devotee to surrender to Krishna. Pure devotional service is distinguished from mundane religion. In the beginning of Bhagavatam, mundane religion has been rejected as cheating religion. Kaitava Dharma Projitatra. In the very beginning of Bhagavatam, cheating religion is kicked up. Cheating religion means to approach God for sense gratification. The Nava religion is to surrender to Krishna. The teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam begin where the Bhagavad Gita leaves off. Lord Krishna's final instruction in Bhagavad Gita is to surrender to him. Sadhana Tatya Mani Krishna Puja. The Srimad Bhagavatam teaches the path of love of Krishna. That begins with surrender to Krishna. There is no love of Krishna without surrender to Krishna. And surrender to Krishna, that is attained by following the path of regulated devotion. So there is no love of Krishna without, uh, one cannot come to the path of love of Krishna without following the basic regulated principles. And that is the uh, cheating that is going on in the name of religion. Those who say that, well, you don't have to follow any regulated principles, you just love God, is meaningless. You can't eat meat and smoke hashish and go to movies and engage in varieties of sense gratification and love of God. It just doesn't mix. Love of God, there are certain symptoms. The symptoms are bhakti paresha bhava viraktya ranyatra, as stated in Srimad Bhagavatam. Love of God means that one is uh, absorbed in that activity, in activities of Krishna conscious. One who is actually experiencing Krishna conscious, why will he want to experience anything else? Krishna conscious is a higher taste, higher than anything, far, far higher than anything this material world has to offer. So anyone who is uh, actually absorbed in Krishna conscious, then automatically they become detached from material sense gratification. Of course, as long as we're not on the platform of full Krishna conscious, we're trying to come to that platform, we, we also have to renounce sense gratification. Otherwise, if we chant Hare Krishna, but we still engage in sense gratification, it's like pouring oil on the fire with one hand and water up with the other. We want to get smoked, we want to get fire. And therefore, in the very beginning, if one is to be serious about Krishna consciousness, he has to fix his mind on that goal and take a vow to follow the regular principles. And practice Krishna consciousness very seriously. Uh, Krishna consciousness is not something cheap. It's easy. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given a very easy process. We don't have to go to the Himalayas and do meditation in the snow with severe austerities. It's a very joyful process. But at the same time, the joy in Krishna consciousness comes from Krishna consciousness. You cannot mix the joy of Krishna consciousness with the muck of sense gratification. Of course, it's said that in Prihasta life there is some license for sense gratification. But license means also restriction. Just like when you get a license, a driving license. That means you're authorized to drive on the road. But there are certain restrictions, many restrictions also. And you're allowed to drive on the road as long as you follow the restrictions. If you drive on the wrong side of the road, or if you drive on the pavement and kill all the pedestrians, then your license will be withdrawn and you will be punished. So in the same way in Grihastra Ashram, there is a license for sense gratification. That doesn't mean carte blanche for sense gratification. Do whatever you like. No, not at all. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't 
allow our minds to be carried away by false propaganda that we can endure whatever you like and be Krishna conscious at the same time. Krishna conscious does not mean to do whatever you like. Krishna conscious means to do what Krishna likes us to do. As he has described in Shastra. Therefore the Shastra is given by Krishna. Srila Prabhupada wanted these books distributed very widely all over the world. Why did he want them distributed? That people can use them as book weights? As paper weights? They can use as paper weights? That means that if you put it to hold some papers, that the papers don't... <coughs> he gave these books because they are such valuable instructions for human society. How to control the mind and place it in the lotus feet of Krishna, which will be for our eternal benefit. This eternal benefit is possible to attain in the human form of life. The human form of life is very rare. It is attained after rotating through 8,400,000 species of life. But even after getting the human form of life, even then, it's even more rare to get the association of devotees. But uh, if, we, if we are so fortunate in the human form of life to get the association of devotees, then by that satsanga, by that good association, we can easily cross over the ocean of material existence and attain to the lotus feet of Krishna. But we should also know what satsang means. Good association. Associate, good association means that association which will help us to cross over the ocean of material existence. The association of devotees. Devotees are very serious to cross the ocean of material existence. That will help us. Just consider how much we are suffering within this material world. Shita, Atava, Bhata, Varisha, Eden, and Suffering from the uh, physical calamities. Sometimes it's too harsh, sometimes too cold. On top of that, there are even worse miseries that uh, the very nature of this material world is that we have to associate with all kinds of miserable people. We have to use so much of our energy just to maintain this body. In doing so, we have to mix up and serve so many rascal kinds of people. So much of our energy is dissipated in mixing with non devotees and people who have no interest in the high values of life. So uh, that may be unavoidable. At least those who haven't fully dedicated their lives in service of Krishna may have to interact with this material world more. Those who are serious about advancing in Krishna consciousness, they should not um, invite bad association. It's very easy to get bad association. In, in, because bad association sometimes seems to be very pleasing. I'm speaking particularly about turning on the TV or listening to some comedy music. So it's very easy. You get some entertainment. That means be entertained as you dance your way to hell. That means uh, hellish entertainment. It's just, pre just preparing the mind for going to hell. So anyone who's serious about Krishna consciousness, take their TV and throw it out of the window and make sure you <laughs> and instead put a nice altar for Gondhai and make Krishna the deity in their home instead of the TV. This will be very nice, but with less anxiety. And one can become Krishna conscious. After all, human life is meant for becoming Krishna conscious. Having got this opportunity, we should take it very seriously. Otherwise, the, the so-called happiness of this material world is simply temporary and meaningless. Krishna consciousness is that which is real. Everything that's promoted in this material world, it has no real meaning. Even the happiness, or even the so-called friendship and affection and love of this material world, it's shallow and hollow. All this talk about love and good feelings, without solid Krishna conscious basis, it's simply meaningless. Even the dogs and cats, they have good feeling among each other. You've seen one dog comes up to another and snips his genitals and licks it. So this is being friendly, friendly dogs. And then your pet dog will, after that your pet dog will come and lick your face and you'll think, my dog loves me very much. <laughs> so love of God is distinct from love of dog. It's a different quality altogether. 
So this uh, mundane friendship, this is rejected by transcendentalists. This society, friendship, and love. But without Krishna consciousness, it's no more meaningful than the licking of dogs, mutual licking of each other's joint. Real friendship means to make friendship with devotees of Krishna, and that means on the basis of Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, everything in this material world, it's simply temporary. Just like the drop of water may fall on the lotus leaf, the rain will fall on the lotus leaf, it'll sit there for a few seconds and fall down. So in the same way, whatever we have in this material world, whatever money we work hard to accumulate, our youthful energy, that is also temporary. We put so much, in modern light they have all these creams and lotions, but still the lines will come on your face. It doesn't matter. You put one kilo of cream on your face every day, still you will find underneath it there are so many lines coming. If we see they have all these things, vitamin E and aloe vera and so on. It's all cheating, isn't it? Because the lines are going to come anyway. You see, this is Bhavana Daraidas sitting here. If we, if we put uh, one kilo of vitamin E cream on his face, <laughs> will he look like 20 years old? Not possible. So, money, youth, all these things are temporary. All our family members, and friends, and relatives, all temporary. What is in them? What is the value of this? It's no more meaningful than the drop of water on the leaf. Of course, if we engage all this in the service of Krishna, it's very good. But generally, these things are simply a, a form of bewilderment for the mind. Therefore, the real business for the mind is to remember Krishna. Bandana Bhagavan Bhattu Madhyaji Mahamasuru Mahave Vaishnavi Satyam Pekati Chani Pekati Sukhi Krishna says, just think of me, same instruction, just think of me. Bandana, use your mind for thinking of me. Become my devotee, worship me, bow down to me. In this way you will come to me, Krishna says. I promise you. All you have to do is think of Krishna. But we are not accustomed to that. Therefore, we have to follow the process of sadhana. The pleasing process of sadhana. Shavana, kirtana, smarana, bandana, ada, sadhana, all these different processes. Hearing about Krishna, chanting about Krishna, remembering Krishna, worshipping Krishna. All these are very pleasing activities. Okay. Anyone who is a devotee of Krishna should take up these activities in the series. Whenever we have to do it in the material world, we should minimize that and maximize our activities of doing and chanting about Krishna. Especially in this month of Dhamma, these activities should be increased as much as possible. Especially in this month, we should hear Srimad Bhagavatam daily. If you can come here in the center daily, you should at least listen to some cassettes or uh, read for a minimum one hour every day. During this month especially, it's very important to have to offer light What's to Krishna and then deeper down. Especially during this month, when Shema should rise early and perform Mongol uh-huh. so This month is uh, very conducive for making advancement in Krishna consciousness. When one doesn't observe this, any, any Krishna or any special activities in this month. Lord Vishnu, well, there is a statement from the High Bhakti Das, Lord Vishnu says that he is not by devoted thought. So actually we should follow all these activities throughout the year. But if due to weakness of heart, <coughs> wicked mind, or whatever, we're not following all these things regularly throughout the year, at least we should follow this month. The idea is that uh, if we start to do these things from this month, Actually, if we have a taste for it, we should continue throughout the 12 months of the year. Worship of Krishna is meant to go on in every day of the year, and every moment of every day. But this month is good. If we're just beginning, we can get some more inspiration. Or if we were doing well, but somehow we come down, it's a time to come up again and recharge our spiritual life. Everyone should consider how to become Krishna conscious by placing the mind of the Lotus feet of Krishna. That means to follow the process of sadhana bhakti very carefully. Those who are engaged in various uh, 
activities, for making money, for supporting themselves and their families, there may be some restrictions on the form of sign. There may be some time restrictions. But nevertheless, one should seriously practice as well as he can uh, under the circumstances. This would please Krishna. We should seriously consider how we can live and act in such a way that Krishna will be pleased. Hare Krishna. Any questions about this? No question. Is everyone is fully convinced? Mm-hmm. Fully agreed. Okay, so from tomorrow morning everyone has to get up at two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Cold shower and chant sixty four rounds a day. <laughs> or like that. As high as much as we can do. And actually we shouldn't think how much we can do, we should think how much we can do and then do more than that. Because if we think how much I can do, then my rascal mind will say, Well, I can't do anything. For me, it's very practical to sleep until 11 o'clock. So our mind will give us so many excuses to avoid Krishna. So better seriously endeavor. Well, if there are no questions, then uh, I guess I can distribute some sadhana. I just came from London to Beijing. Since I was leaving, I was given some the Mangalati sweets that have been offered to Sri Sri Radha So I'm not going to give any of you any sweets. But I'll give all of you a little bit of a sweet because it's not enough to give everyone a sweet. Is that all right? Yes. Uh, I'd also like to advertise some of my books because Prabhupada instructed that sannyasis especially should prepare literature for the benefit.